Hello, welcome to Erwin's Academy. We are going to discuss today about the sequence and series. Um, this is the lecture number two. I hope you have already watched part one before watching this part two. We are going to start today uh, arithmetic progression and uh, what is this and what is the use of arithmetic progression that we will discuss all. And depending upon arithmetic progression, we will discuss some questions as well. So let us start today the arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. Right. This is the topic which I am going to discuss today. So in arithmetic progression, what is this arithmetic progression? You must be aware with this fact that what is arithmetic progression? You have been studied this in class 10. But uh, that is the introduction. So let me start with a uh, main issue that is from basic that what is an arithmetic progression. So the definition is that if the difference of definition, definition, you can write, if the difference of, difference of two consecutive terms consecutive terms of a sequence are equal then the sequence is said to be sequence is said to be in AP in arithmetic progression arithmetic progression progression is nothing else but all about the sequence and series so progression includes sequence and series as well so arithmetic progression or in short it is called an ap right now so difference between two consecutive terms is called uh, are equal then sequence is said to be an ap and the difference is Difference is called common difference, common difference, and it is denoted by it is denoted by denoted by D symbol D. D stands for common difference. That means if T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2 is equal to T4 minus T3 is equal to like this then that is second term minus first term is equal to third term minus second term is equal to fourth term minus third term etc. Then sequence is said to be sequence H said to be in AP said to be in AP and the difference is called common difference in AP and uh, T2 and T2 minus T1 and T3 minus T2 all of them since are equal so what is that that is equal to D so this is called common difference or it can be written as like fourth minus third, so tenth minus ninth, so nth minus nth minus one, nth minus one. That is called D. D stands for common difference. So, for example, if I am taking some examples like three plus six, nine, twelve, fifteen, right? So, is in AP. Why? Because here 6 minus 3 are in AP. The terms are in AP. Why? Because here 6 minus 3 is 9 minus 6 is equal to 12 minus 9, etc. So all of them are equal. Are equal. Right now. And that all are equal to D. D is equal to 3. So we can say here D is 3. All of them are equal and the difference of any two consecutive terms is called common difference and here the common difference is D. 
and D is 3. Similarly, if I took another example uh, like uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 like this R in a P, R in a P and here the difference is what 5 because 10 minus 5 is 5, 15 minus 10 is also 5. So here the difference is 5. Also, we can have a simple numbers like 30, 27, 24, 21, these are in AP, are in AP and why because here T2 minus T1 is minus 3 that is 27, T2 is 27 and T1 is 30 so this is minus 3. Also T3 minus T2 T3 minus T2 is 24 minus 27 that is also minus 3. So since T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2, any two consecutive terms are equal and therefore T1, T2, T3 that is all these terms are in AP, are in AP. And what is difference here? And therefore difference is this one, minus 3. So, difference can be positive or difference can be negative. That is one thing you must note here that common difference can be positive and it can be negative. So, common difference in AP can be positive or negative or even sometimes zero also then also it is considered to be in a common difference may be 0 or 0. For example, uh, here if I will write here 5, 5, 5, 5 like this R in a P because here what is common difference? Difference is 0. So these are also in a P. Difference are equal so it can be considered in a P but whenever the terms are equal they are considered to be in a P as well as in GP, as well as in AP. But note, further it will be used here. Just write down there. Note, if terms of a sequence are equal, then sequence age in AP GP and HP. I will discuss what is AP, GP and HP. AP and GP. AP arithmetic progression, GP geometric progression and HP harmonic progression. Right. Thus you have seen that uh, whenever two conjunctive terms, any two conjunctive terms of a sequence are same, then sequence is said to be in AP. This is the characteristics. It can be increasing, it can be decreasing AP. Increasing AP, if it is a uh, difference is positive and a common difference is positive, then it is said to be increasing GP. And whenever the difference is negative, it is said to be decreasing GP. So increasing and decreasing GP, uh, it can be depending upon common difference whether positive or negative. Now, uh, let us discuss if uh, some more about this. If the first term of an AP, if first term that is T1 of an AP is A and common difference common difference is D then arithmetic sequence arithmetic sequence can be a, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D, right, like this. This is first term. First term is what here, this one is nothing else but first term. This one is second term. This one is third term. And since D is the difference, so second term minus first term is D. Here third term minus second term is also D fourth term minus fourth, fourth third term is also D 
and fifth term minus fourth term is also D. So you can analyze here that uh, D is the difference. It means if we'll, we will add D in each of the term, then we will get what? Successor, successor terms. Successive terms can be obtained by adding D only, difference only. So here, uh, if you notice that T2 has coefficient of D as 1. T3 has coefficient 2, T4 has coefficient 3, T5 has coefficient 4, 1 less than the actual number. If this is 5, then there is a 4. If there is a 4, then there will be 3. If there is a 3, then 1 less than that is 2. If this is 2, then 1 less than that is 1. If it is 1, then 1 less than that is 0. So similarly, if I would like T in term, then what will happen? It will be A plus N minus 1 into D. It can be written like A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N minus 1 into D must be described as Nth term. Right? That will be T in term. Why this is T in term? Because it is N, then coefficient is N minus 1. Here, the coefficient is N minus 1. So, we can consider them that Nth term of the sequence, therefore, Nth term of the of an AP is defined as Tn. Tn is called Nth term. Nth term is defined as Tn. Tn is defined as A plus N minus 1 into D. This is what a formula you can have for Nth term. Right now? This is a formula you can have for Nth term. And in this formula, you will be able to understand that uh, here A is where A is first term, first term and D is common difference right common difference a is first term and b is common difference so tn term is a plus n minus 1 into d that is tn term nth term a plus n minus 1 into d so here uh, this is a formula nth term from beginning this one is called nth term from beginning can we have nth term from end? Yes, we can have nth term from end as well. For example, if the sequence is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and uh, A plus 3D, if uh, A will be the last term, then before that D less term, D will be less, here D is less. And then there will be A minus 2D, and then there will be A minus 3D, so can we have this is the first term from last second term from last this is third term from last this one is fourth term from last again in similar fashion you will see if there is a four then coefficient of d is three for third term coefficient is two so in similar way we can write nth term from last nth term from last from end, you can write nth term from end is nth term from end, not last but end. You can write end of the series, end is given as of an AP is nothing else but Tn is equal to <coughs> L minus N minus 1 into D. Tn is a plus n minus 1 into d. Tn term is l minus n minus 1 into d, where l is last term. Last term. Right now? So, nth term from end of the series can be obtained by this. This is one additional formula. Uh, hardly it will be used, but uh, still, uh, wherever it is given that nth term from end you can use it right now so you can do that
and it comes from it. Means this one. Now, uh, we should solve some questions uh, in respect to this what concept we have learned. Here, uh, the sequence is given like find the 15th term, 15th term of the sequence. Find 15th term, term of the following sequence, of the following sequence right 15th term from the following sequence and the sequence is given like 3 8 13 18 like that so clearly here the first term is clearly first term that is very first right term a is equal to 3 and common difference b Eight, nothing else but 8 minus 3 that is 5. So write formula is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into T that is for nth term. So we can have 15th term in place of N we can put 15 because we want to find 15th term. So therefore 15th term is A is 3 plus 15 minus 1 14 and D is 5. So 3 plus 14 into 5 that is 70 and 70 plus 3 is 73. So that will be answered. Now in similar way uh, I can have one more question and that can be calculated as find the sixth term from end of the following of following. Right, sixth term from n. That is, if I will write here that uh, the sequence is given like 15, 22, right? 15, 22, and 29, then 36, like this. And last term is so clearly here L is 155, clearly L is 155, D is 22 minus 15 is 7 and therefore 6 term is given by L minus N minus 1 into D, this is TN term and if I will put here 6, then what will happen? T6 is equal to that right. T and since Tn is equal to L minus N minus 1 into D and therefore T6 is equal to T6 is equal to 155 minus 6 minus 1 that is 5 and D is 7. 7, 5 is 35 and 35 here 5 will subtract here. Then what will be happen? This is 120. So 120 will come. So you can calculate either from beginning or from end. Now there is one more thing uh, that concept that you need to learn before proceeding to exercise that is sum of first n terms of an AP, n terms of an AP. Right? How to calculate the sum of first n terms? Let S be the sum of or Sn denote be the sum of sum of the sum of or only simply s you may take the sum of be the sum of first n terms sum of first n terms of an AP n terms of an AP then s is equal to an AP and a p a a plus d a plus 2 d like that l minus 2 d l minus d and last term is n then therefore s can be written as a plus a plus d a plus 2 d this is the third term plus 
एल माइनस टू डी एल माइनस डी एंड एल इफ राइट इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर द सम विल नॉट चेंज एजेंट इट अगेन एस कैन बी रिटर्न एज एल एल माइनस डी एल माइनस टू डी राइट ना बिकॉज इट इज एन एडिशन सो इफ यू राइट द इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर टू प्लस थ्री और थ्री प्लस टू इज द सेम थिंग सो दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए प्लस डी एंड ए एज वेल a plus d and a so if i add them then what will happen add these two then s and s will be 2s isn't it so in that case the total sum will be adding this two 2s will be a plus l here right and there will be also a plus l because d and d will cancel a at 2d and 2d will cancel a at 2d and 2d will cancel there d and d will cancel so it will be a plus l every times and how many terms are there in terms right now a plus l up to a plus l that is up to n terms that is n times a plus l n times a plus l this is n times if someone has to add 5 plus 5 plus 5 three times then what will be the sum 15 and that sum is also recognized as 5 times 3 times of 5 5 plus 5 plus 5 3 times of 5 that is 15 is similarly 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 four times of 5 four in 5 because this sum is four terms so four times of that sum that number Similarly, since it is n times, so it can be described as n times of a plus l, n times of a plus l, because this it is n terms. So here, two uh, s is equal to n times of a plus l. So n is equal to s is equal to n by two into a plus l, and this is one formula of sum of first n terms of an a p, right? In terms of an AP, where where a is what first term, first term, and l is last term. So whenever first and last term is known, we can use this formula and apply. For example, if I have uh, to find find the sum of, let us have a question. find the sum of first n natural number n natural number right so we can write here the sum can be uh, written here that 1 plus 2 plus 3 natural number start from 1 na 4 and fourth term is 4 fifth term is 5 so nth term must be n as per this formula how many terms are there in the sequence n so we can write here n terms is already there here therefore sum is equal to s is equal to since n number of terms 2 and first term is here 1 and last term is n so we can write here 1 plus n right 1 plus n So n into n plus one. This is the sum of first natural number. Since first term is there, first term is one, and last term is last term is n, and number of terms is also n. So that is why it is written here s is equal to n into one plus n by two. This is the sum of first n natural number. and you can keep this one in mind because this is important one right now so you must keep all these things in mind now uh, we can extend this formula since extension other form alternative form alternative form of formula so we can use this alternative form alternative formula 
formula right what is that alternative alternative means another formula you can have uh, if you do not have this formula you can use another formula sometimes when when you will use this right here when nth term is not known is not known then what will happen right nth term is not known then how can you use this formula so in that case since last term you know we know last term is represented as tn term and tn term is nothing else but a plus n minus 1 into t last term is l and l is nth term from beginning right now so that can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d last term l is equal to since last term last term l is equal to a l is equal to tn last term l is also called tn and tn is a plus n minus 1 to d so from this equation above since s is equal to n by 2 into a plus l we know that and now if i put l is equal to l is equal to n by 2 l in place of l we will put here a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 1 into t therefore it will be a plus a is 2a 2a plus n minus 1 into t 2a plus n minus 1 into t this will be like this so therefore s is equal to s will come here n by 2 and 2a a plus a is 2a plus n minus 1 into D. This is the formula for sum of first n terms and this is the another form of another form which we can use it further for uh, s is equal to n by 2 a plus n minus 1 into d and everybody know this what is a what is n what is uh, d so whenever here first term is not known but common difference is known in that case you can use this formula so hopefully you got it right let us uh, do some questions on the basis of this so if uh, there is a question question that find the sum of all odd natural numbers no all natural numbers up to 100 right so what will happen in that case find the sum of all odd natural numbers up to 100 so in that case uh, what will happen that first natural odd natural number will be one right now and uh, second odd natural number must be three because odd now and five seven nine like that up to last natural number odd natural number is 99 here last term is known first term is known but number of terms how many there that is not known although it can be explained with common sense that odd natural numbers up to hundreds are 50 because after every alternate uh, every alternate numbers are odd natural numbers and uh, every alternate numbers are even natural numbers so odd natural numbers are up half of them are odd natural numbers and half of them are even natural numbers so n is 50 if you can understand it that n is 50 but if you are it is not in other questions if it is not so simple that how can you evaluate the number of terms then you can use the formula as well and in this formula you can calculate it by here last term that is tn term is 99 L is last term, last term is Tn term and Tn term is 99. It means A plus N minus 1 into D is 99. And what is A here? A is 1. A is 1 here. And D is 3 minus 1 that is 2. So N minus 1 into 2 is equal to 99. 
that can be written as this one can come this side or even you can write 1 plus 2n minus 2 is 99 2n is equal to 100 and therefore n is equal to 50 so you can calculate this n by using this one also because 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and minus 1 will come this side it will be plus 1 so 99 plus 1 is 100 n is 50 so you can calculate number of terms in this way now because you have knowledge of a you have knowledge of n you have a value of d so you can apply any one of the formula n is 50 here and uh, here a is 1 and d is what 2 because t2 minus t1 that is 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so d can be obtained as t2 minus t1 d is t2 minus t1 that is 3 minus 1 which is 2 so we can have this one now we can apply either first method or second method depending upon your choice so you you if you apply first one sum is equal to n by 2 a plus l in that case there will be 50 by 2 first term is 1 last term is 99 50 by 2 into 100 this can cancel 50 times and the 50 into 50 is 2500 that will be the formula alternatively we can apply s is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d in that case you have to use here n is 50 by 2 2 a is 1 n is 50 minus 1 49 and d is 2 so that will be 25 50 divided by 2 is 25 and this will be 2 plus 50 minus 1 is 49 49 multiplied by 2 is 98 right now so that will be 25 into 100 that is 2500 0, 0. so that will be answered also for sake of convenience and further use you can memorize it sum of first n odd natural number remember this is a trick sum of first n odd natural number natural numbers is n square remember this fact sum of first n odd natural number is n square so there are 50 odd natural numbers n is 50 here 50 a square and therefore answer is 50 a square that is 2500 0, 0. you can write it answer directly sum of first n odd natural number is n square how this come this will come from the formula that uh, here 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 up to n terms n terms can be used as n by 2 2a that is 1 plus n minus 1 number of terms is n and d is what 2 if you will use this this will be n by 2 and that will be 2 plus 2n minus 2 2 to cancel and that will be n into by 2 into 2n n by 2 into 2n and what is that that will be n square here 2n 2 to cancel and what will be that n square so remember this fact this is also very useful information that sum of first n or natural number will be n square so remember this fact this is very very important formula which can be used right to in future okay so that can be used Okay. Similarly, a uh, sum of first n even sum of first n even natural number even natural numbers is equal to n into n plus one. How is that? Let me prove it. Let me explain it. If you have two plus first even natural number is two, two plus four plus six plus eight up to n terms n terms number of terms is n so here uh, we can use it n by 2 2a a is what 
a is 2 nothing else and n 1 into what is d 4 minus 2 is 2 so d is also 2 so this can be calculated as n by 2 into 2 into 2 4 plus 2n minus 2 that will be n by 2 into 2n plus 2 right 2n plus 2 that will be 2n plus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 and therefore if I take 2 common n into n plus 1 because 2 if I will take common 2 2 cancel so that will be the sum of first n even natural number if someone asks what is the sum of first n even natural num number up to 100 and therefore example sum of all even natural numbers even natural number up to 100 is nothing else but up to 100 there are 50 odd 50 even so n is 50 here 50 into 50 plus 1 that is 51 50 into 51 is 2550 and that will be answered so i hope you got it and you have enjoyed a lot uh, about uh, this arithmetic progression concept and uh, <coughs> hopefully uh, you understood each and every uh, aspect that is a little bit detail in what you have learned in class 10 and uh, some tricky approach is also there some tricks are also which will be useful for further in J examination and all so you must remember this and uh, take care of yourself thank you thank you very much in this class and uh, we will discuss after the break some questions till then bye bye God.